Hey everybody, today we're reviewing the 2018 Camaro ZL1. It's my 2018 ZL1 and I'm going to try and give the most unbiased opinion but it's very very difficult to find anything wrong with this. There are things that would make life easier, don't get me wrong, this is not a family car by any means. This is a good two persons car. I can just about push the kids and pat them in the back. It's a push. Um, but as a second car for Sunday driving, well, I don't think you could get much better than the ZL1 for sports performance and for the price, it's, it's absolutely unreal. So the ZL1 comes with the LT4 engine, which is new for the Camaro. And what a power plant that is. A 6.2 supercharged, delivering 650 brake horsepower, 650 pounds feet of torque. It's just insane. Welcome to the ZL1's biggest weakness, fuel consumption. On average we're getting around 11 miles to the gallon, which I know is US gallons, but converted to UK, that's around 13 miles to the gallon. So if you want to do a little bit of math, it would cost around £53 to go around the M25 once. Just, just once. Around London, once. £53. No, this is my car, so just to make sure we don't have a biased opinion. Famous mechanic. <laughs> Say hello, Maz. Hello. Right, so what we thought we'd do, we'd try and get some other people's opinions on the car, like, you know, the younger generation. But as you can see, there is a park over there without one <laughs> single child. Where are all the kids? Where, 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 where are they? Where do you go to find kids these days? Here is the third person, and what I'm gonna do before he gets in, because look at the state of him. God, he looks a mess. I'm gonna put a seat cover on. Quick glance over. Okay, there he is. Yeah, um, best thing to do, mate, don't look at the camera. 
Yeah, it's very, um, it's it's very professional. Cool. Yeah. So, 2018 Camaro ZL1. What do you think? What do you think of the interior? Very impressed. It tastes very nice. It's all suede and suede, suede and plastic and corn fibre for lightness because it is a big fat pig. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's very nice inside. I mean, in all fairness, it's the inside isn't really the important bit. It's the engine. It's all about the performance. It's all about the performance, which to be fair, it's not going to be great because the tyres are still cold. So, but we'll have a go. Just, uh, just remember, you're going to be on camera, so don't make any like really weird sort of, <laughs> like you know. Ah! Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's on quiet. That's a, that's quiet. That is, yeah. So what we do, we'll fuck it over. not be able to feel it because obviously you've got a seat cover on but it has got heated and cooled seats yeah which i tell you what i'll put mine on and then if you just sort of like slit your hand at the back of there you should be able to feel it you've got fans on the seats yeah, yeah. which is uh, quite good especially when you're sweating your tits off in like a shirt or something uh it's not good definitely not good so the Incar Entertainment, ICE, as we call it in this country, we were used to it about 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, it's got Apple CarPlay, which first time I had, had it was in the Mercedes B-Class. Uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Go to the Apple CarPlay, and basically all your apps that you've got on your phone that's compatible will come up on your screen. So your phone, your music, all your maps, it's all there. Yes. Ride quality, ride it's quality. not. Really, it's not comfy. It's bumpy. I'll give it it's, a it's it very, is very bumpy. bumpy. It is really, really bumpy, and um, you, you do try and avoid the potholes more than, say, I don't know, a van or a normal car or what have you. But this is very uncomfortable. To be fair, oh, I need to ring Mars. Sorry, weird. the camera turned off when we actually made a point, it so what we're going to do is we're going to redo this again, just so people can hear. Are you ready? As I said, it's still got that old American tone to it, I think. To be fair, you said it better the first time around, but never mind, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> that V8 sound is That just... gas-guzzling V8 sound. Yeah, it's, um, it's that very... That humming on takeover. Yeah. All Americans. American cars hold that, yeah, and this is still kept that that noise in my eyes. Yeah, definitely. I think Close your eyes, and you're in an old car. The Mustang, though, I 
don't think it's got that same noise. Even though it is a V8, uh, I know it's a flat pay plane V8, it's a little bit different, five litre. Uh, obviously, uh, it's all, uh, oranges and apples with this one. This is supercharged, that, that's not. But um, I don't think that sounds as aggressive enough. Um, the only thing I did notice, which obviously you never saw this, um, or heard this, when it had um, the standard exhaust on, you could hear the supercharger whine more. Yeah. Now the exhaust just totally overpowers that. There is no, no whine at all. I mean, I'll put a video up now so you can actually see what the, the whine sounds like. Right, so one of the complaints we're having at the moment is the Camara symbol, which I've been told many times that it looks like a French flag. Yeah, it, it's red, white and blue, it's the American red, white and blue. French flag is blue, white and red. I can see how you get confused if, I don't know, if you're thick. Oh God, I can get bollocking already. We've been here for three minutes. So, what do you think of the... So, the first thing you, you pick up <laughs> is the Coke, yeah? Coke Zero, the actually. Coke, Coke Zero. Well, I'm on a diet, mate, so let, let's Sorry. try and help out. <laughs> Why am I doing Max, this? You see what he's done to his steering wheel? This is how not to polish a car with glass cleaning. And get it all white. His stalk's now all white. His steering wheel's now white. <laughs> so, without looking, how big do you think the tyres are on this? Inch-wise. Oh, I'm talking to anyone. This is a review for everybody. This is everyone can get involved. Inch. They are twenties. Slightly wider on the back. Plenty room for a dead body. So with this boot, the main concern, I think, is literally that size. Because so normally, the boots... So what you're saying is you couldn't get a fat dead body in there. <sighs> couldn't get you in there. You could, but you have to cut it up into small pieces that will fit in this little gap. Should pop the hood? Pop the hood. We call it a bonnet in this country, but we're going we're gonna to pop the hood. We're a bit yank. Middle. Do you not know where the middle is? Oh my. What do you do for a living, just by the way, just so everyone at home can know? HGV mechanic. Alright, oh, HGV. I pull that bit in. Alright, oh, okay. Foreman. <laughs> yeah, Foreman. workshop manager. Okay, so here we have the LT4 engine, uh, the 6.2 supercharged. This was first found in the Corvette, uh, and now it's worked its way into the Camaro. Um, the only thing that I've had done to this engine, obviously because I've not had it that long, is momentum gt cold air intake i've also had headers from cooks i've also had spark plug uh protectors because uh, the heat this engine kicks out is absolutely mad so can i bring your attention to the flow tie the flow tie okay in chevrolet's great wisdom they realize that if they put the chevrolet badge in there it would actually stop three litres of air per minute not getting into the engine. So they had this and they call it the flow tie so they can get more air into the engine. Bet somebody got paid a lot of money to wear their hands. Right, okay, next uh, question. How many radiators does this car have? Four, eight. Well, I can tell you there's actually 11 heat exchangers on this car, beating the Bugatti Veyron by one. Do that again, smell my car. <laughs> Before you think we're all weird, I've actually waxed this with that coffee smelling wax, so we're not actually weird, it just smells really, really yeah. nice. It's scary. Right, so what I wanted to do, obviously this exhaust is not the standard, but I think most track days, they want it under, I think it's 103 decibels. So we're gonna test it now to see if I can take it onto a track day.
So, 127 decibels, that's, um, that's death, that's deafening. We're going to park in that car park for one minute. <laughs> oh, I mean, normally you start, but... <laughs> normally, don't you? <laughs> obviously, you've got your granddaughter, so you think, just keep going. I like how you set her first. Yeah. I'm going to quit break before we continue with the review. So it wouldn't really be a proper review unless I went through some of the bad points in this car. Um, again, I'm a bit biased, but there are a few things that are awkward, very, very awkward. Um, the probably worst thing about this car is your visibility. It's very, very awkward. I mean, I've not really helped the case. The windows are slightly tinted, maybe a bit darker than what they probably should be. Uh, the back window, again, it's small. Uh, the quarter panels, again, very difficult, but I'm sure GM have worked this out. That's why you have the lane indicators and there are little bits and bobs. You get used to it. Um, again, it's not a family car, it's not supposed to be an everyday car, even though I think you could probably use it as an everyday car. The different modes, right then, so we've got touring, which in all fairness that's what this car spends a lot of its life in. Um, then we have uh, Sports. Track. And snow. I'll be honest, this car will never ever see snow. For this car to see snow, something has gone drastically wrong. That is not happening. This is a uh, complaint. Mainly the noise. Yeah, yeah, definitely the noise. But again, that is because that exhaust, that exhaust is just fantastic. Yeah. Power. But, uh, what are the the bad points? Come vision. On. Lack of vision. I mean, it doesn't help that some dicks managed to tint them windows. I'll be honest. That has not helped. Steaming wheel on the wrong side. Oh, we've got a <laughs> left-hand drive hater here. Look, look at him. Look at no, him. No. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the. Uh, the review and uh, I'm going to try and do a few more over the next couple of weeks uh, so if you like it subscribe uh, thumbs up you know the normal deal catch you later